up, folks? I am UltraZilla, and this is the Ultra Z News Weekend Update. We got a lot to talk about today. We're going to be jumping around a bit, like we're going to talk about a company, and I'm probably going to talk about them again later. That's kind of how all the photos came together for me this time. It is what it is. Uh, we're going to get to it all. We're going to talk about a lot of various things. There was a couple of shows that went on this weekend, including Anime Expo, where a lot of things were revealed. So probably going to do a little editorial as we talk about things as well. But without any further ado, let's get to the news. And let's kick things off with the Movie Monster Series, who overnight announced three new figures, including Gamera, uh, Showa Gamera. I'm very, very excited about this. I love Showa Gamera. It is one of my absolute favorite things. Uh, also, Showa Gauss. So you're going to get a little set there of Gamera stuff. Uh, you could expect me to get these two, uh, no doubt about it, as oh well as a Batra Larva. Now, I know a lot of folks are excited about this, get their hands on a uh, affordable Batra Larva. I'm excited about it too, to be honest. These are the most exciting movie monster series in a bit. I talked about Anime Expo, and starting with 3-0, we have uh, some Cowboy Bebop figures as well as the Robo Duveritech Fighter. Oh my, uh, I hope I get to review this piece. Oh my gosh, please, I want to review so bad. Uh, they're also going to be Doom Berserk, as you can see here, Griffin. And Naruto uh, is uh, coming as well, uh, as you can see here. So pretty cool stuff from uh, 3 Zero at Anime Expo. Not to be outdone, uh, Tamashi Nations showed off a bunch of One Piece things, including, you know, some, one, this ginormous guy, I forget his name, but he's ginormous, uh, and, uh, some other figures that folks are very excited about, of course, you got Monkey D. Luffy, uh, and, uh, some other dudes, you know, that I don't really know, because I don't really... <laughs> follow it i know this guy this guy is uh zoro here right um so pretty cool stuff if you're into uh one piece you're gonna get your shfs but you're also and this is uh controversial apparently because fans you know think they own everything um is uh one piece movie figures um or tv show whatever it is the netflix thing and i i don't think that's a bad thing fans have really got to give things a chance let it breathe. Uh, they have to understand the companies are going to make figures of things that they deem might be super valuable to do. One Piece is a brand, a property that is global. It has a lot of reach. This Netflix series is going to attract a lot of people. Those people who might have heard of One Piece but maybe never read the manga, maybe never seen the anime, might really like the show and get them to buy other stuff or watch other stuff they might want figures of this show they uh, just enjoyed so uh there's a lot of value here for this show to succeed and a lot of value for tamashi to make figures of this why fans are all up in arms as if it affects anything um uh, that they love it makes no sense you know like this is Star Wars uh, all over again, you know, like the newer trilogy. It, it's just like fans just think they own everything. And, you know, it really hamstrings a lot of companies sometimes. So, you know, just let things play out is all I'm saying. There's a reason for this stuff. Uh, and none of it is bad. Moving on to Good Smile, who had their own uh, event going. They're doing a toothless Nendoroid, which is very cool. For you Berserk fans, we, we mentioned Berserk already once. We're getting a giant Zod Zed guy. He is massive. These are the Papa Parade XL figures, as well as a Guts Man. This thing is uh, massive. And you can see the, one of those Figma bodies. Uh, uh, next to them. Speaking of the XL Papa Parade, uh, Tenga Topin uh, Gurren Lagann has finally been shown in full color and it looks beautiful. Definitely something on my radar. As well as the Papa Parade Darkstalkers, uh, Morrigan and Lilith. What a great game. I uh, don't think I'll get these two, but 
a great game. Speaking of great games and a great looking statue, the Chun-Li statue from Max Factory looks beautiful. And in the Motoroid line, um, for those that loved uh, Promare or Promare, uh, we are getting an awesome mech here. But probably the biggest news is a Figma Link from Tears of the Kingdom. This is pretty cool. I wish he came in his uh, caveman outfit because I feel like that is uh, a more iconic look for this particular game. But still, very cool. Back to 3-0, uh, their Rise of the Beast Bumblebee in the deluxe line is looking gorgeous and up for pre-order now. So do look out for that. Yolo Park showed off their prototype for their Cheetor AMK series figure. You can bet that I'm going to get and build this guy as well because that series is incredible. And uh, this Optimus and uh, Lion Blade, not Leo Prime, uh, was found in Canada. So this little uh, subline is continuing uh, with one that I think I'm going to have to get, guys. So um, Mattel Creations is doing a Jurassic Park Gates set. Light up, sound, all of that. Comes with a new cruiser, it comes with the two kids, and it comes with a Hammond Collection Buck T-Rex which looks like mostly a repaint with some new parts of the current T-Rex. Now, I want this, but I don't want this set, so I will wait. I'm sure that buck is going to be around, you know, maybe colored a little bit differently, comes with a goat. Um, the problem here is, in my opinion, A, price, it's going to run you like $250 plus, and all of these things kind of don't go together. You know what I'm saying? You got like all this basic stuff and then the buck T-Rex from like both Jurassic Park 3 and um, uh, being a Hammond collection. The other stuff is the more basic line. So it's a little odd to me uh, and not something I'm going into, but you know, let's hope for the buck coming out on its own soon. Tamashi uh, finally officially announced that White Eyes, Blue Eyes, White Dragon. <laughs> Blue Dragon is coming from SH Monster Arts from Yu-Gi-Oh! So it is for sure happening. Do stay tuned. More info to come uh, this summer. We are also getting a Batman in the SHF line from uh, The Flash. Super 7 is doing a giant Cat Slayer. How much is that gonna run? It's gotta be pushing over a thousand bucks there oh my gosh but what's cheaper is the reaction figure tmnt classic toon turtles looking pretty sweet as well as some reaction sesame street figures yay that's pretty cool let's talk about super seven again later hero toys is gonna continue doing diablo figures and holy cow uh i can't wait to see more of that hasbro is doing a Soundwave uh, Dreadnought Thunder Machine combo with Zartan and Zartana. This is pretty cool. Zarana, I should say. Uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, but you know what? I haven't gotten any of these. And uh, I probably won't start. I was tempted by the first couple. But I don't know. Um, Indiana Jones Adventure Series continues uh, with Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. As well as some more Dial of Destiny figures. Last Crusade is my favorite of the three, and I wouldn't mind having these three figures from there, you know, with Dad and the Knight and Indy, but I'm really looking for a Raiders Indy still. I cannot find that figure at all. I've seen some of the other figures out there, but I have not found the Indy from Raiders yet, and I really would like it because I'd rather save the money and not get the SHF, but I will if I have to. What I won't get is this Mezco uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark version because I don't know, likeness just doesn't look so good. Jada Toys is doing a Booberry for SDCC that glows in the dark. And finally, NECA dinosaurs are coming. The pre-orders finally went up like what, a year after we saw them? I think at last SDCC. So Dad and Junior are up for a pre-order. You can pre-order them right now on Entertainment Earth or the retailer of your choice. NECA is also doing a Halloween Kills, uh, Halloween Ends actually, Michael Myers, looking very, very disheveled here. I have yet to see Ends or Kills, to be honest. Uh, and I was a huge fan of the franchise, but I don't know, I didn't, I wasn't motivated to watch these last two for some reason. It is what it is, figure does look good though. 3-0, one more time. M Deluxe Starscream we knew about, well... Skywarp and Thundercracker are also coming, so do stay tuned. 
Tron Models is doing a 30 centimeter Astro Boy kit and boy does it look phenomenal. Um, probably not something I'm going to build because man, holy cow, that's that's a lot of work it looks like. Uh, but it looks gorgeous. They previously did a Gridman kit that I was interested in, but I never did get it. But uh, this kind of blows things away. This is like very, very high end as far as kits go. Look at this inner frame. I'm just blown away by what is inside. Obviously, it lights up uh, as well. The heart lights up. The eyes light up. This is just amazing. Like I said, 30 centimeter. That's a, a lot of commitment. Blitzway has teased a Black Getter, my zillions. Uh, if you don't know, Black Getter is one of my all-time favorite uh, super robot designs. So uh, I'd love to have it. I hope it's not 700 bucks, though. Now, there's another model kit coming. A uh, company I was a little unsure of, uh, but it is of Ultra Manzi Delta Rise Claw. It comes uh, with the... Uh, what's his face? Oh, man, I always forget his name. The Belioc. Um, and, it, and it looks really cool. I like the proportions on this. It's pretty interesting looking for sure. Comes with effect parts. So this is a very, very nice piece. Uh, so do stay tuned. I will hope to get more info on that. Hasbro is doing more of their basic Power Rangers. And Mondo is doing a collaboration with Dark Horse to get a doom slayer out there so uh sdr pay attention uh, you gotta get that uh <laughs> mono also teased this week a godzilla possibly 75 they did say terra in the teaser james groman also promoted it so is this a james groman design godzilla mm, I, I want more info right now guys pokemon select continues with tyranitar uh, this is a highly anticipated one for me, personally. I love, love this design, and one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, very, very cool. I mean, if I have favorite Pokemon, yeah, this is one of them. Um, there was others teased, including Mewtwo and Suikan, Suikan, Suikon. Uh, but to me, Taranto is the one to get. Nendoroite is doing a... Bruce Lee and uh, pre-orders up now. You can check the link to HLJ down below. And how about this? The next kaiju is Guron in the Gamma Rebirth. Expect forthcoming figures to come. Last but not least, back to Super 7 for not so hot news, unfortunately. Um, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers... Madam Woe and uh, Tiger Zord Battle Mode Ultimates uh, were canceled. Not enough orders for those. I heard the Rescuer set as well. So that's a bit sad. Do get in your pre-orders to stuff that you really like. It's really important to get those pre-orders in wherever you might pre-order. Um, because, you know, we want cool figures. And Ultimates, they're cool figures. Hope you dug this episode of the Ultra Z News. Let me know down below on any of this stuff. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.